The first season of House of the Dragon has already begun to lay the groundwork for its largest looming demise. As it immediately creates a line of succession between the wise father and the heir, even if one is intended to rule on the Iron Throne, and the other would establish a kingdom of their own. The Prequel series is borrowing a page from Game of Thrones. It is not anticipated that he will survive the first season of House of the Dragon, just as Ned Stark, the primary character in the first season of Game of Thrones, unexpectedly dies after only nine episodes. The majority of the most significant deaths in the series have already been revealed because House of the Dragon is based on George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood, a fake history book about House Targaryen's rule in Westeros. House of the Dragon Season 1 may include even more funerals than Game of Thrones' first season, even if many of them won't happen until the Targaryen Civil War, also known as the Dance of the Dragons, starts later in the series. The horrific deaths of Queen Emma Arryn and the newborn Prince Bill and Targaryen were already depicted in House of the Dragon Episode 1, and another tragic death would soon befall the Targaryen family. King Viserys Targaryen, Paddy Considine, who is teased to die before the end of House of the Dragon Season 1, would not come as a surprise given that the series is highlighted by the Targaryen family fighting among itself to be the heir to the Iron Throne. In truth, the king's impossibly weakened state from diseases and injuries sustained on the Iron Throne was alluded at in the House of the Dragon series premiere. In the first episode of House of the Dragon, Viserys is seen receiving treatment for back sores that he attributes to sitting on the dangerous Iron Throne. Later, after reprimanding his brother Demon Targaryen, he cuts his hand on the seat by accident. In House of the Dragons season one time leap, if Viserys' fall is adapted from the book, he would lose two fingers after inadvertently cutting his hand to the bone on the Iron Throne, severely weakening him and signaling the character's death. Only two years later, King Viserys dies while sleeping, sparking the disastrous dance of the dragons. Given that the first season of House of the Dragon has only 10 episodes, it must begin the main conflict by episode 9 in order to be comparable to Game of Thrones. There will not be any big conflicts or war until the Dance of the Dragon gets going, despite the fact that House of the Dragon Season 1 establishes discord within House Targaryen in both the past and the present. To do this sooner, House of the Dragon Season 1 must depict the stunning developments that occur when King Viz Ares I Targaryen dies and the realm abandons his succession plan. Men would rather destroy the land than have a woman sit on the Iron Throne, as Rhaenys Targaryen cautions Viserys' daughter Rhaenyra Targaryen. The same will be true of Viserys' death in Season 1 of House of the Dragon, as it was with Ned Stark in Season 1 of Game of Thrones. At the rate House of the Dragon is moving, the majority of the intense battles are probably not going to be shown until Season 3. Season 2 of House of the Dragon would heighten the suspense by showing the Targaryen Greens and Blacks persuading various noble houses and areas to back their claims, much like how Game of Thrones Season 2 was primarily about strategy and forging alliances in the War of the Five Kings. While King Viserys Targaryen is already an incredible character with a tragic setup like Ned Stark, the imminent devastation of his death is necessary to put the core conflict between Rhaenyra and Alicent to the test.